Hey everybody, it's AJ for Disney Food Vlog. Welcome back to 2019. We are going to talk about 2019 again today and help you figure out when the best times to go to Disney World are going to be for you and your family. Now, you might be ahead of the game and already have your Disney trip planned and you know exactly when you're gonna go and it's Galaxy's Edge and there's new hotels and you know when you're gonna be there. But for those of you who are just finding our videos and just kind of thinking about your next Disney trip, we've got a lot of things going on in 2019. We have several videos about it and so we've sort of broken down the best times to go to Walt Disney World in 2019 based on what your family is looking for whether that's low crowds exciting happenings budget value pricing etc so we've got a few ideas for you about when you should plan to go to Disney World in 2019 here we go Okay, so as I said, if you've been paying attention to Disney World news, you know that 2019 is going to be a huge year. We have been waiting and waiting and waiting for Galaxy's Edge to open. This is the Star Wars land in Hollywood Studios. That'll be opening later this year. There's going to be several new hotel openings this year. Grand Destino Tower over at Coronado Springs in July. Riviera Resort in the fall. The Skyliner is opening this fall, which is a brand new gondola transportation system. So there's a lot happening. There's even there's new restaurants opening. It's going to be a crazy year. Very, very busy year. So you've picked a good year to go. So let's talk about January and February. There's gonna be a little bit of a lull after the holidays at Disney World. This usually happens. So those five hour waits for Flight of Passage won't be happening anymore. But you wanna get in before the crowds descend for President's Day weekend and Martin Luther King Day. So you're gonna find really reasonable wait times if that's one of your goals is to have low crowds and less expensive hotel prices. That's gonna happen here in mid-January, early February, as long as you avoid those long weekends. And the weather is also pretty nice this time of year in January and February, especially if you're coming from colder places. It's usually in the 70s, 60s, and 70s, but always be prepared because every once in a while there'll be a cold snap and you will need to go ahead and spend $50 on a Disney World sweatshirt. So bring your layers, bring, you know, I always actually bring a scarf when I go in January and February because you'd be amazed how warm just that scarf keeps you when you're just wearing a sweatshirt. That scarf can make a big difference so I always throw a scarf in the suitcase when I'm going in January and February because you never know when that cold snap is going to come but there's going to be a lot less rain than you're going to run into in the summer and early fall here at the beginning of the year and you also have festival of the arts so if you're interested in, in attending one of the Epcot festivals you do have one here starts January 18th runs through February 15th this is probably one of my favorite festivals in Epcot if not my favorite festival in Epcot it's relatively new it's only in its third year there's Broadway performers and performances it's a focus on art of all kinds so music and visual art culinary art of course there's awesome food booths going on with absolutely beautiful food I mean you can tell the chefs really come into their own for festival of the arts absolutely gorgeous takes on these tapa style eats so festival of the arts is a great thing to work into your schedule if you're going in January or February Moving on to right after spring break. So spring break sort of runs in Disney World from the end of February to the end of March or right after, all the way up sort of to Easter, to right after Easter. That's when spring break sort of tapers off. And spring break can get pretty crazy. It can get almost as crazy as the week between Christmas and New Year's Eve if you hit just the right week, just the right time when a lot of the schools are off around the country. The weather is almost perfect this time of year though. So if weather is a big concern for you, the spring break time frame is a good one. Not likely to be too much rain. Temperatures don't go too much above the 80s during the day till you get into late April and May. And if you time your trip between spring break and when the schools let out for summer, you'll find the parks a little less crowded. So you can check out Epcot's Flower and Garden Festival, which starts March 6th and runs through June 3rd this year. So that spring break time is going to be crazy, but right after spring break, you're going to have a nice little lull right there where the hotel prices are going to be a little bit lower and crowds are going to be a little bit lower as well. Next up, let's talk about summer and early fall. So this is the time when usually most years, Disney World is going to be packed with people because everybody's off of school, so everybody's here. But this year might be a little bit different and that's because of Galaxy's Edge. And we're gonna talk about Galaxy's Edge season in a little bit, but because we think a lot of guests will probably postpone their visits to the end of the year or even 2020 so that they can experience Galaxy's Edge and Walt Disney World, that the summer months might be a little bit less crowded. Now, Disney has already figured this out because they have released free dining 
for the uh, summer starting January 5th and going to the end of September. So they've already released that free dining package, which means you get a free Disney dining plan, which means that all of your food is basically free if you pay rack rate and uh, for your hotel and your tickets. So we have a whole video about that package. Everything you need to know about that is in our free dining 2019 video over here. But we think that the summer months in Disney World may be a little less crowded than they have been in the past because everybody will be going to Galaxy's Edge. But because you can get that free dining package in the summer, it might make that summer, uh, those summer months be a better time to go this year than in previous years. Now, as long as you plan for the possible weather troubles and don't mind the heat, you're gonna find some lower crowds here in the late summer and early fall, but there will be serious rain. There will be rain every day. Most likely this is prime hurricane season for Walt Disney World. And it will be hot, very, very hot, to the point that if you walk outside your room, the humidity and heat will sometimes just knock you right over. Not literally, but almost. It feels that way sometimes. So it gets really hot and very humid here in the late summer and early fall. So if you're able to handle that, if you're from a place that's hot and humid anyway and you're used to it, then this is a good time to go with low or crowds usually. Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party at Magic Kingdom usually starts in August, so you can start your Halloween festivities and celebrations that early when you are in Disney World at this time frame. And the bonus is those earlier parties are usually a little bit less expensive than the ones later in the season. And sometimes they're a little bit less crowded as well. And also, of course, visiting in late August, early September also means the start of the Food and Wine Festival in Epcot, and they've been bumping it earlier every year. Last year and the year before, both started on August 31st, so we're guessing they're going to start around August 31st again this year, but we don't have the dates yet. All right, the next season we're gonna talk about is Galaxy's Edge season. Again, we don't know when this will be. Disney World just says late 2019 or fall 2019. Disney likes to give that wide berth for themselves because they don't really know when it's gonna open either. It's kind of like when you get work done on your house, they promise you a particular date and it ends up being two months later. Same thing happens to Disney. They got a lot of contractors working and a lot of weather issues and other concerns. And so you never really know when sort of that last bolt is gonna be dropped into place. So Galaxy's Edge season is going to run anywhere from October, November, December in 2019. We think the crowds will be overwhelming. They will be huge when Galaxy's Edge opens. Now heads up, Galaxy's Edge will open in Disneyland in the summer. So diehards will probably go to the Galaxy's Edge in Disneyland, which will be very similar to the one in Disney World, which may ease up on the crowds a little bit for Disney World's Galaxy's Edge when it opens. But we still think it will be an absolutely crushing crowd for those first couple of months. But that is exciting if you are a huge Star Wars fan and you want to be one of the first to experience Disney World's version of Galaxy's Edge. I can totally understand you planning your trip for that particular time. So if you are going during Galaxy's Edge season uh, in 2019, you're going to want to really focus on planning your days out ahead of time. You're going to want to make sure you get your fast passes booked. Keep an eye on Disney Food Blog. Join our newsletter so that you know when Galaxy's Edge fast passes open open so that you're aware when you can start making those Galaxy's Edge Fast Passes because that's going to be, I guarantee you, they will go within the first four minutes that they're available. So please, please, please stay tuned. Join our newsletter so that you know when that happens. Get those dining reservations taken care of early, especially if you want to eat in Galaxy's Edge. Again, those reservations are going to go so fast. Um, so please, please, please pay attention. Make sure you're following um, DFB. We will get that information to you and get all that stuff planned ahead of time. It's not going to hurt. It's going to definitely be beneficial to plan your dining, your fast passes, your park experiences 180 days, 60 days ahead. So if Galaxy's Edge is a little bit too much for you, there's still great things to do during the fall and winter season in Walt Disney World. Festival of the Holidays will be happening over at Epcot, of course. I mean, we're guessing. They haven't announced it, but we're guessing it'll be happening again over at Epcot. The new limited time nighttime show, Epcot Forever, will replace Illuminations there in the fall of 2019. That will be the interim show between Illuminations and the permanent replacement show coming in 2020. Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party will be happening over at Magic Kingdom 
season that usually starts happening in November. And of course, Flurry of Fun will probably come back to Hollywood Studios. Again, we'll see that park is going to be super swamped, so I'm not sure if they'll be running those kind of holiday festivities there or not. I'm guessing they will be. And again, this is a great time to take advantage of some of those after hours events at Magic Kingdom, Animal Kingdom, and Hollywood Studios if they are running those after hours events. When the crowds get to be this significant, it sometimes makes sense to instead of buy a day ticket to a Disney World park, you buy an after hours ticket because you'll be able to ride a lot more things many more times than you would be able to do trying to manage the fast pass system on a crowded day in the parks. So those are our thoughts about when to visit Disney World in 2019. I hope this has helped you guys get a lot of questions here and over on Instagram about what the crowds are like, when's the best time to go to Disney World. So 2019 is a little bit different because things are opening, things are changing, and there's a lot of Disney deadlines happening this year. So hopefully this video has helped you plan a little bit better for when you might want to go. As always, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Please let us know in the comments what you guys think. When are you going to Disney World this year? I can't wait to find out. And that'll help us too to see kind of when you guys are ready to go so we can make videos that make sense for your planning needs. This is AJ for Disney Food Blog and we'll see you real soon.